Okay, so we have our files placed in our tooth, in tooth number 46. You can see I place a 115 file in, in the mesiolingual, and we have a number 10 in the mesiobuccal. Now I've set them to 20 millimeters working length, and let's take a look and see what we can see when we take a radiograph. We're gonna start with a straight arm buckle. So what we're gonna do is, because it's a metal frame, we're gonna take this off. You can use a radiolucent frame. I find that when we're using this type of file hold, sensor holder, it's easier to just take the whole rubber dam off. So what I'm gonna do is normally I tear with the corner the rubber dam so that after we're after it becomes this crazy saliva covered mess, when we go to put our rubber dam frame back on, I know that every time, so let's do it for real here, I know that every time I go to put the frame back on, that that corner, this tear is to the right side so it's quick and easy and I don't have it you know shifted like this so that's one little tip that's really helpful that my endo mentor taught me many years ago so let's go ahead and place our sensor into Dexter and again we're gonna make sure that the make sure that the rubber dam clamp see if I can lift his head there we go. The rubber dam clamp is showing. So you can see there's one uh, file that just went flying out of the way and that's the reason why we use this. So when the patient bites down, like now don't bite my fingers, is that they're biting on the plastic and not our files. So let's go ahead and take a radiograph. So we're gonna take our straight on, let's line everything up and see how it goes. And there we go. So even though we have a break, so here's our straight on, and though even though we have a break of the files, which never seems to happen, usually they're superimposed on each other, I don't know which file is which. And that's the guessing game. So if we do do a, let's try the distal shift to start. So angle it down like that a bit. Let's see if we can get that on that angle. Like that. Let's give that a rip. Whoa, totally missed it. Boom, there we go, much better. Okay, so that's the angle that I used. And let's take a look We can see how it is in line with the rest of the apparatus. So you can see here, it's just at the beginning, kind of flush here. And with a degree, it looks like I can almost get two fingers in there. And that gives us that type of radiograph. So here we know that the same side lingual, opposite side buckle. So I know that this file here, the more distal one is my lingual file. And I know that that one's my distal or my buckle file. So let's take even.